This is the new Gobi premium leather sneaker by Vivo Barefoot, and it is their most natural style yet, and I'm sending it back. Before I tell you why I'm sending them back, let me just go over a few things that I do really like about these shoes. Now, the first thing being their style. I think they look fantastic. Looks quite a lot like a traditional shoe. However, it has got that barefoot ethos, so super thin sole, wide toe box, all that good stuff. I also really like the color. Color's fantastic. It is premium leather as well, so we've got leather throughout the whole upper but we've also got it, more importantly, on the inside as well. So the inside here is lined with more of that premium, soft feeling leather and suede. It's really comfortable on the foot, whether you're wearing socks or whether you are going truly barefoot in these, they feel fantastic on your feet because of that leather interior. It just feels great. Just like a pair of their Raws, for example, they feel great with or without socks because they've got that leather sole on the bottom or the Geocourt 3 for that matter. <laughs> you can probably hear my daughter screaming downstairs. Apologies if you can, it sounds like a cat fighting in the alley. The next thing you'll notice when you're looking at these is the outsole and these are made with a 100% natural rubber outsole. So it's got a brand new outsole from NSW, NF, NFW? Is it NFW, what is it? It's a pliant, pliant outsole by NFW. It is essentially a much more responsibly sourced type of material that can actually be recycled, mechanically recycled. So less impact on the environment, fantastic. The other great aspect about them is, as you can see on the outside, there is a seam going all the way around the sole. So what that means is if and when you wear these through and they get thin, you can have them resold by Revivo. So once you've put a hole in these after wearing them so much, you can get them resold, give them a new lease of life without throwing them away. You can also save yourself having to buy a brand new pair as well because speaking of buying them, these things retail at 195 British pounds. Yes, that's how much I paid for these. These are nearly 200 pounds for a pair of trainers, which it's kind of made me nearly choke on my tongue when I saw the price, to be honest with you. But it has premium in the title, right? So it must be worth it. The sole is also super thin, as you expect from Vivo. So the sole base is just shy of two and a half mil, and then the tread is just shy of one and a half mil. For those that do want a bit more thickness, they do also come with a cork insole as well. It's good for cold weather outside and it can just take the edge off it. So if you are transitioning from more traditional shoes to these, to barefoot shoes, that sole just adds a little bit more cushion that you might need. Now, once you have stopped choking on your tongue at the price of these things, when you get them, you will, I really think you will appreciate that they are a quality pair of trainers. They're well built. In the past, I've had issues with quality control or inconsistencies with the way they're manufactured, like loose threads and things like that. This pair anyway, seems to be pretty spotless, to be honest with you. It's pretty perfect, which you would expect if you're gonna be mass producing these sort of things, you want some consistency, right? And as I previously mentioned, they are really comfortable on the inside. We've got some nice cushioning around the ankle. We've got some nice suede in the heel area. And yeah, it just, Words really can't describe just how comfortable this leather feels, especially if you go barefoot. Just to bring up the, again, we've got a Geocourt 3 here. I've got it in black, I've got these in white as well, actually, because I've got a problem. Uh, again, the leather on the inside of these, it just feels so good. So the Geocourt, the Gobi sneaker, the raw, I'm just looking at all my shoes. What else have we got? The raw threes, that leather interior, really feels fantastic on the foot. In socks, barefooted. I honestly can't speak highly enough of how that feels. Now, on to why I'm sending these back. Now the reason why I'm sending these back, and, and I'm about to go on a bit of a rant here, so apologies, but the reason why I'm get, sending these back is because they just don't fit properly. And it drives me insane to think that I can buy 13 different pairs of shoes 
and they all fit slightly different. I don't understand how that makes sense. I would have thought everything was made from the same last, the same mold to have some consistency across the brand. I get that that's apparently not the world that we live in. You can get two t-shirts that are from the same brand that don't fit in the same way as well. Makes no sense, but that's apparently just the reality of it. But this is what is so frustrating. And because I'm also on the upper limit, I'm a UK 14, Vivo go up to a UK 14. That's fine, I get it, I've got big feet. You don't wanna, I can't expect someone to cater specifically for me all the time. But when I wear these, they run short. So my toe isn't on the end, but for a shoe that's supposed to have that extra space, these run, sh these run short in the length. So if I'm stood around, that's fine. But if I'm walking and my feet travel forward slightly in the shoe, my toe is, my toe is realistically a couple of mil away from touching the end of the shoe. And that alone gives me that weird, like claustrophobic feeling of just having my feet in something that's just not big enough. But this is the real grievance I have, which I know a lot of people have commented on some of my other videos as well. And you might have already seen, you might already think it just by looking at the, the shape of these shoes. They're just too narrow as well. They are narrow and I just don't get it. I, I don't, uh, I don't know what last, that what mold, what template they've used this time but this one is running narrow. Maybe it's the sole. I th one test that I wanna do is test the different shoes and the different soles because in general, so we've got a Geo, bit grubby. We've got a Geo Court 3, that sole, this shoe fits. So I've got another pair of these because I, I know it fits. The raw 3, different sole again, but I know it fits. Plenty of space in the toe, good amount of width. Magna, firm ground, another sole getting a little bit narrow, still has enough space in it in general, but I do, I'll be honest, they're not the widest. I have the insoles in on these all the time because I like the warmth, but these do get a little bit narrow. When my feet are really hot, I can start to feel the pressure because my feet are swollen up. We've then got Primus Light Knit. This one, it's a sock, so maybe it's got a little bit more leeway, but this one fits me pretty well. Again, it could probably do with being a couple mil looser or wider, so it feels looser. Personal preference, but in general, that's a really nice, comfortable fitting shoe for me. Different sole again. What else have we got? <laughs> Too many shoes. Uh, which one? Which one? Which one is this one? So th this is a bit of a throwback. So this is a. Pr I think this is just your standard Primus Light. I got it when it was the. This is a Primus Bio, it says on the back here, uh, these green ones, but this is basically a Primus Light. And this is why I'm not sure if it's changed again, because these are technically the same sole. Technically the same sole. Yeah, maybe I'm just going crazy. So they, so these, so these are the, so these are, these are the same. These are the same. Same sole. They fit space. They've got space in the length, more importantly, the length and a, a, a good amount of width for me. Some people have wider feet than me. Then we've got another Gobi sole now. That was it. There's another, oh. <laughs> Speaking of Gobies again, uh, this is an old Gobi. I think this is a Gobi 2. Not worn these in a while. These had, these have a, a, a reasonable amount of space, not, not loads of space, but my logic, sorry, I'm, I'm going on an absolute tangent here. But my logic, sorry again for the grubby shoes, but this this is a raw this is a raw two. Gobi two, I think it was. Uh, same sole. God, they look minging. Same sole, same size, same fit. That has a cork insole in it because I like the warmth still. So the point I was trying to just make with that bit of a ramble and tour of my shoes is <laughs> I'm looking at more that I can still do. Um, it is it's another sole, another mold. I don't know. I'm, I might be speaking out of turn here. I might because I truly don't know the actual process and the difficulties, technicalities, and things like that, and how or whether it's possible to even truly have consistency across the board. I would assume it is, but who knows? Uh, and these are made in Portugal as well, but others are made in different countries. So maybe there's a variance there. But I just don't get, and it's not even the fact that it's different or can be different. It's the fact that they're willing 
to have a difference. And I'm saying this with frustration and ranting on a little bit how these don't fit and how I've I've literally bought other pairs. I If I could, I've probably said this before, I'll say it again. If I could, I'd own at least one pair of everything that Vivo Barefoot make because I truly like the shoes. I like the styles. I love the brand. There's probably, maybe there's been one or two, if I'm honest, that I wouldn't actually buy just because I don't like the style of it. Uh, just because it's like a variant on like a Primus, for example. But in general, I'd pretty much buy every pair if I could, if they fit. I've bought some before the, I think it was, can't remember the name of it now. It's not, it's not the Addis, it was a different one. I'll put it on the screen if I can find an image of it. I wanted those because they were like a nice slip on. They were made in Africa, I believe they were like two sizes too small. They had the width, which I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. But the length was just too short. And again, because I'm a 14, I was already wearing the maximum size. So I can't, I couldn't go up, which again is frustrating. That I understand is on me because I'm at the limit of the size, but the width is just something that, you know, you can't necessarily size up on the width because it's just one size. It generally gets longer, not necessarily wider. So I get, I am extremely frustrated sometimes at the inconsistencies because like I say, I want, I have one of every pair. And also this is a reason why I'm so passionate about being in the Pioneer program for Vivo for their 3D printed shoes. This is the V1 of their 3D printed shoe. Custom, made to order, fully circular. For me, it's more about the fit and getting a shoe that actually fits true to size. And again, this is still going through its early phases, so it's not been perfected yet. But already in this process, there's been slightly wider shoes or wider molds. Again, won't go into the details there. If you want to check that out, I've got some more videos on the channel. The point I'm trying to make is, <laughs> I am frustrated, but I get it at the same time. Not everyone's feet are the same, but for a brand that is trying to make shoes that are wide, that have wide toe boxes that are supposed to allow your feet to breathe because they've got the space to move around, I can't spread my toes and knees. My feet can't even splay out just by standing there. As you can see, I'm standing there and you can see as I lift my feet and then put them down again, just my feet and the bones within them spreading out under the pressure is already pressing against the sides. I've tried wearing them for a couple of days. Vivo have a fantastic return policy, which means you can try them for a hundred days and send them back if you're not happy. I don't need to wear these any longer to know that they don't fit. I've worn them for 24, 48 hours. I've had warm feet in them. My feet get hot, they swell up a bit more. There's even less space than when we started. So sadly, they need to go back, which is what I'm about to do now. So I'm gonna send these back. I'm gonna get a refund, gonna get the money back that I probably shouldn't have spent on them in the first place. So they, they are not cheap. They're just shy of 200 quid. They're a nice shoe though. I think they do look nice. I do like the style. I do like how they feel physically on your feet. They're a really nice shoe if they fit you. If you're interested in checking them out, there will be a link in the description to take you over to Vivo's site. And if you've not bought from them before and you want to try them out, there'll be a referral code. Gives you 15% off your first order as well. So if you've not tried them, check them out. Use the links in the description. Let me know what you think. Are you as frustrated as I am about another new pair and me not, you don't care about me not being able to buy them, but you understand what I'm saying. The frustration of another new pair coming out, loving them, loving the look of them, but them just not fitting. It happened last time with, I think it was the Novus. Again, they were narrow and short and they just didn't fit. Seems like these more premium styles with the more, more leather panels, they're just, they're just too narrow, man. They're just too narrow. I'm gonna take a breath. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully they'll bring out another style very soon that I can buy and that I can fit in and I do get to keep. But in the meantime, if you do have any questions, comments, put them in the comments below this video and I will definitely get back to you. Love connecting with you guys. Also, here's a question. Tell me what brands I need to look at and check out. I want to know what you recommend. Be mindful though that I'm a UK 14. 
So my feet are big. I keep checking out brands and they go up to like a size 10 or an 11 at best. So recommend brands in the comments. What brands do you think I need to try out next? And I'll recoup my money on these and I'll spend them on some others and we'll do a comparison to see really, may, maybe Vivo is not the one anymore. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. I don't know any other brands that do any good looking shoes, but we'll find out. That's enough from me. I'm gonna take a breath. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.